Today I want to address the issue of upgrading your catalog from Lightroom CC 2015 to the new Lightroom Classic CC. Now, before you go about doing this and before you even watch this video, I'd highly recommend you watch my other video on the differences between the two new versions of Lightroom because Adobe just released two versions, one called Lightroom CC and one called Lightroom Classic CC. And before you upgrade to either version, I think it's definitely worth knowing the differences, knowing the pros and knowing the cons of each version. But if you're sure you want to go with the new Lightroom Classic CC, let's take a look at how we upgrade. The first step is you need to actually get the program itself upgraded on your computer. To do this, you need to look for an application on your computer called Adobe Creative Cloud. So you can look for that in your applications folder, you can look for it in your program files, wherever it happens to be. You want to go ahead and open that program. Now in the Adobe Creative Cloud program, what you can do is go to the little tab that says Apps. And inside of Apps will be a list of all the programs you have installed. Scroll down to Lightroom, and you should see right next to the one that says Lightroom CC 2015, a little button that says Update. You want to go ahead and click on that, and that will install the latest version of Lightroom. Now, it should be said, if you are updating and you are thinking that you might at some point want to downgrade again, you can always do that. Adobe allows us to, up at least at this point, Adobe allows us to download older versions of their software if the need arises. So don't feel like you're on a one-way street here. You can definitely downgrade your version later on. Alternatively, under the advanced settings, you can actually tell Adobe to not remove the old version when it installs the new one. So then you'd actually have two versions installed at one time. I'm more of the fan of just leaving one version at a time, and if you do need to downgrade down the line, you can go ahead and do that. But I like it to do a clean install, remove the old version, and put the new version on. Now, once we have the new version of the software or the application installed, the next step is to actually update our catalog. Now, the way that I like to do this is a little bit different than the way a lot of people will. I like to actually go to my catalog file itself. So if you're new to Lightroom and you don't know where your actual catalog file lives, I think this is an important time to learn that. If you haven't made a new catalog or you've never looked at your catalog before, I would probably say that your catalog is in your pictures folder on your internal drive. Now, if you know where your catalog is, go ahead and navigate to that now. But I'm going to go to my pictures folder. And inside of my pictures folder, and for those of you who are new to Lightroom, I imagine for you as well, there will be a folder that's called Lightroom. And inside of that will be your actual catalog file. Now, the way you know that you're on the actual catalog file is it's the file that ends in the extension .lrcat. Now, if you're on Mac or Windows, you may have file extensions hidden, but if you enable those, you'll see that it's the file that ends in .lrcat. Now, Mac to PC, this will look a little different, but you want to find that catalog file. Once you've found that, you want to right-click on it, go to Open With, and tell it to Open in Lightroom Classic you want to basically tell the computer or force the computer to open this in the new version of Lightroom, not the old one. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and we'll give it a second here. And what it's going to do is it's going to see, hey, you need to upgrade this. This catalog is used with an older version of Lightroom, and it needs it to be updated in order to work with the new version. So if you see this message, go ahead and hit the Upgrade button. And it's going to take it a second. Now, my big main catalog at home, this took about 10, 15 minutes. It was a very quick process on this little catalog that I made just for this video. You can see it's already done and it's already complete. So regardless on whether it's a quick process or a slow process, wait for that little progress bar to move across. Once Lightroom launches, you will know that you are in the new version of Lightroom and you are ready to go. Now, it should also be said that once you've updated your catalog, I preferably like to do a little bit of cleanup work after the fact. So I'm going to go ahead and close Lightroom here and look inside of my catalog folder. So I can now see that in my catalog folder, I have two catalogs. They both end in .lrcat. There's one that has my original name of the catalog, and there's another one with dash two at the end. And this causes some confusion for people. The catalog with the dash 2 is the new version of the catalog that has been updated to work with Lightroom Classic. The one without the dash 2 is the older, unupgraded catalog. 
Now, here's my recommendation. I would recommend you hold on to both copies of your catalog until you've been using Lightroom Classic for a few weeks. It could be that maybe your computer is too old to be compatible with the newer version of Lightroom and it doesn't say that right away. It could be that you have problems with the newer version of Lightroom. Whatever it might be, I like having the safety net of having my old catalog there in case I need to downgrade to that version down the line. But do keep in mind that if a downgrade is necessary, all of the changes that you've made between now and when you decide to downgrade will not be there because you'll actually be using that old catalog that from this point forward you're not going to be using when you go into Lightroom. So definitely keep that in mind as well. I've been using Lightroom Classic for a while, um, so I'm almost at the point where I feel pretty confident deleting my old catalog and just leaving the Dash 2 one, which I know has been updated. So that's really all there is to it. It's really a two-step process. First, you want to go into that Adobe Creative Cloud application, which should be on your computer. Download the newest version of Adobe Lightroom Classic CC. There's a lot of words there. Once that's downloaded, go to your catalog file itself, whether that's on an external hard drive or an internal hard drive, wherever it happens to be, and open that catalog in the new version of Lightroom. That will prompt it to upgrade. You'll hit the Upgrade button. That will bring you into the new version of Lightroom and you're all set. And then lastly, hold on to that original version of your catalog just in case a downgrade is, is uh, imperative down the line, just in case you have some reason to downgrade your catalog moving forward. And lastly, if you have any questions on what was covered here, definitely leave them down in the comments section below. If this video was helpful for you, I'd love you guys to hit that like button. Like buttons help us get up in the search results, make these videos get seen by more people. And lastly, if you want to get daily, weekly, whatever we get around to it, videos from Rocky Mountain School of Photography, hit that subscribe button down in the corner to stay up to date. Thanks for watching.